Okay, the backup camera on my Audi A6 went completely black on the screen and after flickering for a while, I'm trying to figure out what the problem is. I'll see if I can replicate the error for you with a flickering, dying camera. Putting the gear into reverse. You see the flickering camera? That's what happens when a camera dies on you. And now I'm gonna show you how to replace that. So open the back of the car. those two screws up there that's what you need to unscrew two more screws one there and one there then you pull it loose through the grips under here and it will look like this uh, might be easier if you disconnect this little lamp light for the trunk to remove you pull this. the cable out by pulling it to the left I guess I'll do it with one hand holding this thing up that's what it looks like okay that's it so when you've exposed the inside of the trunk by removing the cover you will find the camera the retrofit camera up here, you see those two nuts up there? They're the ones connecting the handle and the camera to, to the outside of the, the trunk. And the camera is connected by these two cables that you'll have to disconnect. And basically this is the only thing you have to change together with the camera, I'll do that for you. Here you can see the, the nuts a little better. They're 10 millimeter diameter. So just unscrew them. So when you remove the nuts, you have to disconnect this connection as it's uh, the so power supply for, for the handle opening the trunk. Remember the brown one to the left in this case, so you know how to put it back in. After doing that, you'll be able to remove the handle and the camera, like so. Uh, well, that's what it looks like and it's broken. I have a new one right here. That I'm gonna replace it with. So, basically, that's it. What you have to do is probably clean this up. You don't want any water to pass, it's quite dirty. So I'm gonna clean this up and put a little bit of silicone compound around it, not much, just to seal, seal it up. I don't want any water coming in through there on rainy days. Okay, now that the silicone sealing compound is added, you can see it's, I didn't take much at all, just a little bit. Um, you can lead these wires through. I need two hands for this, I'll get back. Okay, the camera's back. Time to screw the nuts back on, on the Make inside. Make sure to tighten these nuts evenly so the rubber frame seals nicely on the outside. Okay, next I'm gonna reconnect the electricity to the door handle. Like pressing this thing in here. Making sure it's in place. You will know it's correctly connected as long as you hear a sound when pressing this. 
like so. That, that way you know it's in there for sure. Okay, that's it. Next I'll have to connect the yellow wire to the yellow one and the red one to the black one. And I'll try to tape this up with a little bit of uh, soft tape. It's like some kind of fabric, it's soft, so, so it doesn't bounce against the metal and make noises. Um, I'll get back to As this. you can see, I put some wrapping around the connections uh, as I don't want them to come apart while driving around. This is what, what the cover looks like from the other side. Uh, as you saw earlier, I there were only four screws. One over here, one over here, one over here, and one over here. The rest are just clips. So when you remove it, you have to use a bit of force, but don't worry, it will come apart. Um, a bit scary doing it the first time, but, but as you can see, there are plenty of clips and only four screws. I'm going to reattach the cable to the to the lamp for the trunk and I'm going to push it back in place. Okay, it's back in place. Time to uh, screw the screws back. That's it. Okay, we're back in the car. Starting it up. Putting the gear into reverse. And voila. It's working the way it's supposed to be. Not very difficult. A little bit time consuming, but very easy to do. Another little tip before we end this. If you have problems with the microphone, people not hearing you probably when you're driving around, it's probably because you put the microphone, well, you, 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 you attach the microphone to something uh, solid like the rear view mirror. I, I attached it here and it took all the low frequency sounds from the car uh, and made it impossible for people to, to hear me when I was talking. So uh, what I did, I switched place and put this well attach this to this soft part of the roof and the the noise well the sound from the microphone was was uh, majorly improved that's it good luck guys <laughs>